Hello and welcome. We're doing this podcast and we're going to be speaking to Leo Caladura. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself and your um, name, how you like it pronounced, please. So my name is Leo uh, Caligero and I'm originally from Toronto, Ontario. I've been studying and teaching here in the UK for the, um, since January, so not too long. However, I've, I've seen quite a bit of London and the greater areas, and I've been traveling all over the UK and Europe. Tell me a little bit about your hobbies and stuff um, that the youngsters could relate to, please. So uh, I try to do as much reading as I can, but uh, specifically I like to read um, biographies and autobiographies of you know anyone I find influential. Um, I do a lot of photography. I'm relatively new, but into videography as well. I've always been a big uh, video gamer, and I still am to this day, and I don't hide that whatsoever. I like to embrace it, actually, because I think it's a great media these days. Um, I do a lot of art, visual art, painting, as well as some graphic design, as, although I wish I would do more. And I'm not into many conventional sports, however, I'm a big board sports uh, kind of guy, so snowboarding, skateboarding, anything along those lines. I'd like to now ask you a little bit about who has been your main uh, help and support or inspiration that you could talk about a little bit for us. Uh, I could honestly say that every since uh, I read Steve Jobs' biography uh, shortly after his death, I was always you know, inspired by his outlook on life and technology and how you know, it's going to be incorporated into our everyday lives, so we must embrace it. You know, he was a very big believer on that, especially, you know, it's uh, reflective in his products and everything he created. And even as simple as something as his keynote speeches, you know, you could really see his passion. And I think he was right to think that, you know, technology would be so incorporated into our lives to the point where, you know, today, this, all this wearable technology is coming out and I'm a big believer in it. And I think it's a really important to embrace it especially at a young age. Is there anything about Steve Jobs that uh, something that happened maybe in your past or something which brought you towards him or was it just his love for his um, design or product that you were fascinated by? You know, I think it was in the early or mid-1990s when my dad brought our first Mac home and I was just in awe to see this thing. It was it was so new to me, but I, I really knew that seeing that brought into a house was just going to change everything. You know, once we got the internet running, and I know I'm not too young, but I'm young enough to n remember a time before the internet everywhere, seeing where it came from was definitely inspirational to me. Okay, perfect. And... Um... I'd like to ask you now a little bit about what you're doing in the UK and you came from Canada and maybe a little bit about Canada and the differences if you can please. You know a lot of people just assume that Canada is just you know maybe a subpar America but you know we're actually quite similar to the UK and our laws um, the way we spell things uh, and you know just the whole sovereign nation but um, you know it was a big change especially weather wise however I really wanted to come out to the UK to expand my teaching horizon because unfortunately the job market in Toronto right now is kind of lacking however I had the opportunity to come out here and really embrace my time out here and I had the opportunity to travel and keep traveling so my choice for the UK was uh, simply because of the huge job market and the language barrier definitely helped since you know we're two English speaking nations however it was uh, still a big change like driving on the other side of the road for example was quite different for me and uh, you know just small things like uh, what we call certain things and you know the difference between chips and french fries or crisps and chips you know just uh, gets a little bit confusing when you're trying to order something at a restaurant question about um, where in the world if you had the opportunity to travel to if money wasn't an object where would that be I've always been dreamed of going to Japan and I think that's going to be one of the next top destinations that I would like to travel to. I've just always been so heavily into technology and electronics and I'd love to see essentially where it all came from. Okay. What fascinates you about uh, Japan apart from the technology? The size of the country. For such a small country there's over 30 million people and specifically in Tokyo alone I think there's upwards of 12 or even more maybe 15 million something around there. And just to be able to see how a city that large operates would be phenomenal. What was uh, the why as to um, why you went into sort of the education sector or um, sort of the photography or video side of it? So 
I grew up in a family of teachers, so teaching was always kind of in the back of my head. But, you know, it's really great to be able to, you know, get back to these students at such a young age and introduce them things that I wish I had the opportunity to see at my age. And especially with technology being incorporated into nearly every classroom, whether it be a smart board or, you know, simply a computer in the back of the class. I really wanted to come into teaching at a very crucial level in my opinion whereas you know internet is readily available every student has access to a computer so really the education system has definitely changed in the last few decades and i really wanted to be a part of it when do you think would be quite a crucial time in your life have you got some plans or when are you hoping to do something a goal for you maybe uh, at this point in my life i think i'm just trying to get a lot of traveling and uh, maybe five to ten years i can definitely see myself continuing my work in education, however, broadening my horizons a little bit to incorporate maybe my hobbies into my career. You know, whether that still be in education or in another field, I can't really tell, but I'd like to be able to incorporate both. You mentioned about traveling, so how will you fund some of this travel that you're hoping to do? Well, the one good thing about teaching, especially over here in the UK, is it's very consistent and, you know, the pay is isn't amazing, but it's steady, and it is definitely enough to fund all the places I'd like to go as of now. And um, just to sort of wrap it up um, very briefly, just uh, tell me a little bit about your dreams or inspiration that has helped you. I guess, you know, my dreams are, aside from traveling, is just being able to approach anything I do with the you know, uh, my all. So in this case, education is, you know, my career path. But if I don't incorporate some of my hobbies or interests, I don't see it going as well as I thought it would. So my dream, I guess, in that case would be being able to incorporate everything I enjoy into my everyday work life. Um, let's just briefly, quickly talk about your favorite books, films or music and tell us why. So I'd like to say that's the Steve Jobs autobiography, Walter Isaacson was one of my favorites as it definitely opened up my perspective to the entire technological world and, you know, a little bit more about the history of it, which is great. I've also read several documentaries on and biographies of other famous world leaders in the technological aspect. Uh, Bill Gates, one of them, who I believe was, you know, one of the fathers of personal computing, because he did something that Steve Jobs didn't, which was, you know, bring it at a much more economical level. Because as we know, Macs are expensive and continue to be expensive. And historically, they were also very expensive. I think that's one of my main people who inspire me. Just to wrap up things, you've mentioned that the sort of celebrity that you'd like is probably Bill Gates to meet. Um, but um, what do you enjoy about your life and what can you share with others of what you've learned? Um, I can definitely share that once you get that traveling and definitely go anywhere you can go if the opportunity comes. Thank you very much, Leo, and nice speaking to you. Bye-bye.